multiplication and division of fractions topics covered multiplication of a fraction division of a fraction fraction of a fraction word problems on division of fractions word problems on multiplication of fractions and word problems multiplication of a fraction multiplication of a fraction by a whole number we know that multiplication means repeated addition for example a pizza was cut into 8 equal pieces mohini ate 3 pieces what part of the pizza did she eat here each piece represents 1 by 8 part of whole and mohini ate 3 pieces it means that she ate 3 by 8 part of pizza that is 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 is equal to 3 by 8 now we can say that each piece is 1 by 8 part of the pizza and mohini ate 3 pieces it means she ate 3 times part of the pizza that is 3 into 1 by 8 which is equal to 3 by 8 part of the pizza rule a fraction into a whole number is equal to numerator of the fraction into the whole number divided by denominator of the fraction example multiply 1 by 3 by 4 solution we have 1 by 3 into 4 equals to 1 by 3 repeated 4 times so 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 3 equals to 4 divided by 3 equals to 1 1 by 3 also using the above rule we have 1 by 3 into 4 is equal to 1 into 4 by 3 which is equal to 4 by 3 equals to 1 1 by 3 example multiply 2 3 3 by 14 divided by 10 solution we have 2 3 3 by 14 into 10 is equal to 31 by 14 into 10 which is equal to 31 by 14 into 10 by 1 so you can cut 14 and 10 Two sevens are two fives are so thirty one into five by seven, which is equal to one fifty five by seven equals to twenty two one by seven. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Rule: Product of two fractions is equal to product of their numerators divided by product of their denominators. If any of the fraction is a mixed numeral. or a whole number change it into an improper fraction and then multiply as usual let us see an example multiply 4 by 5 by 2 by 3 solution how do you write that children 4 by 5 into 2 by 3 is equal to 4 into 2 divided by 5 into 3 is equal to 8 by 15 Examples: Multiply two two by five by four three by seven. Solution: Two two by five into four three by seven is equal to twelve by five into thirty one divided by seven, which is equal to twelve into thirty one divided by five into seven. That is three seventy two by thirty five. It can also be written as Ten twenty-two by thirty-five. Fraction of a fraction. Let us consider two by seven of three by five. We define two by seven of three by five is equal to three by five into two by seven. With this definition, we have two by seven of three by five is equal to three by five into two by seven, which is equal to 3 into 2 by 5 into 7 equals to 6 by 35. Let us see an example. Find 3 by 4 of 100. So solution: 3 by 4 of 100 is equal to 100 into 3 by 
so you can cut for one the fold for 25 is a hundred 25 by 1 into 3 by 1 is equal to 25 into 3 divided by 1 into 1 which is equal to 75 example find 5 by 9 of 7 1 by 2 solution 5 by 9 of 7 1 by 2 is equal to 7 1 by 2 into 5 by 9 7 twos are 14 plus 1 is 15 by 2 into 5 by 9. So since we can reduce 15 and 9, 3 threes are 9, 3 fives are 15, equals to 5 by 2 into 5 by 3, which is equal to 5 into 5 by 2 into 3, which is equal to 25 by 6 equals to 4 1 by 6. Word problems on multiplication of fractions example the cost of one packet amal butter is rupees 36 2 by 5 what is the cost of 10 packets amal butter solution cost of one packet amal butter is equal to rupees 36 2 by 5 therefore cost of 10 packets amal butter is equal to 36 2 by 5 into 10 so let us convert this fraction into 182 by 5 into 10 by 1. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. So 182 into 2 is equal to 364 rupees. Hence the cost of 10 amal butter packets is rupees 364. Example, Mrs. Mary had 5 by 9 of a sheet of chart paper. She used 3 by 5 of it to make some cards. How much chart paper did she use? Solution Chart paper used by Mrs. Mary is equal to 3 by 5 of 5 by 9, which is equal to 5 by 9 into 3 by 5. So 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9, 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5, which is equal to 1 by 3. So Mrs. Mary used 1 by 3 of the sheet of chart paper to make cards. Example, Juhi spends 2 by 5 of her money in buying a necklace. She then spends 4 by 9 of the remaining money on eating out. What fraction of her money does she spend in eating out? As whole is equal to 1, Juhi's money is equal to 1. Remaining fraction of money with Juhi after buying necklace is equal to 1 minus 2 by 5, which is equal to 3 by 5. Therefore, fraction of money spent on eating out is equal to 4 by 9 into 3 by 5. 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9. So, 4 into 1 is 4 divided by 3 fives are 15. So, fraction of money spent on eating out is 4 by 15. Division of fractions Multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of numbers If two numbers are such that their product is 1, then each is called the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the other. For example, 1, 3 by 5 into 5 by 3 is equal to 3 into 5 by 5 into 3 is equal to 15 by 15 equals 1. Therefore, Reciprocal of 3 by 5 is 5 by 3 and reciprocal of 5 by 3 is 3 by 5. We have 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, reciprocal of 1 is 1. Since there is no number which when multiplied with 0 gives 1, so the reciprocal of 0 does not exist. How to write the reciprocal of a fraction? Rule to write the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of a fraction, we interchange the denominator and the numerator of that fraction. Example, write the reciprocal of each of the following, 7 by 15. Reciprocal of 7 by 15 is 15 by 7. 21 by 23. Reciprocal of 21 by 23 is 23 by 21. Division of a fraction by another fraction Rule 
To divide a fraction by another fraction, we multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Example, divide the following. 5 by 12 divided by 4 by 15 is equal to 5 by 12 into 15 by 4 which is equal to 5 into 5 by 4 into 4 equals to 25 by 16 equals to 1 9 by 16. Second problem, 1 2 by 3 divided by 7 1 by 2 is equal to 5 by 3 divided by 15 by 2 is equal to 5 by 3 into 2 by 15 is equal to 1 into 2 by 3 into 3 is equal to 2 by 9. Division of a whole number by a fraction Rule A whole number divided by a fraction is equal to the whole number into reciprocal of the fraction. Example, find 84 divided by 6 by 7. Solution, reciprocal of 6 by 7 is 7 by 6. Therefore, 84 divided by 6 by 7 is equal to 84 into 7 by 6. So 6 ones are 6 14 are. 14 into 7 is equal to 98. Example, right? 25 paise as a fraction of a rupee. Solution, 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. Therefore, required fraction is equal to 25 divided by 100. Equals to 25 by 1 into 1 by 100 is equal to 25 into 1 divided by 1 into 100 is equal to 1 by 4. Word problems on division of fractions. Example, price of 2 1 by 3 meter of a rope is rupees 49. Find the price of 1 meter of rope. Solution. Price of 2 1 by 3 meter of a rope is equal to 49. Price of 1 meter of rope is equal to 49 divided by 2 1 by 3, which is equal to 49 divided by 7 by 3, which is equal to 49 by 1 into 3 by 7 is equal to 21. Example The product of two numbers is 15 by 28. If one number is 3 by 7, find the other number. Solution Product is equal to 15 by 28. One number is 3 by 7. Therefore, other number is equal to 15 by 28 divided by 3 by 7, which is equal to 15 by 28 into 7 by 3 is equal to 5 by 4 or 1, 1 by 4. Word problems. Number 1. Ravi bought cloth at the rate of rupees 25 3 by 4 per meter. If he spends rupees 444 3 by 16 in buying the cloth, how many meters of cloth did he buy? To find the number of meters x Ravi bought, total amount spent is equal to rate per meter into number of meters bought. So, 103 by 4 into x is equal to 444 3 by 16. So, to solve for x, multiply both sides by 4 by 103 to isolate x. So, x is equal to 7107 by 16 divided by 103 by 4. Let us calculate further and simplify this equation. We get 28428 divided by 1648. We get 17.25. So Ravi bought approximately 17.25 meters of cloth. Problem 2. A man purchased five and a half kg of sugar for rupees hundred into one by two. How much does one kg of sugar cost? It can be calculated by 
total cost by amount of sugar purchased. So when the fraction is simplified, it becomes 201 by 2 divided by 11 by 2. So to convert a fraction 201 by 2 into 2 by 11, it becomes 201 into 2 divided by 2 into 11, which is equal to 402 by 22. Therefore, the cost of 1 kg of sugar is 18 rupees. Harshit bought 1 1 by 4 dozens of banana for 32 1 by 2 rupees. What is the price of 1 dozen of bananas? We need to divide the total cost by the number of dozens purchased. Given, Harshit bought 1 1 by 4 dozens of bananas which can be written as 5 by 4 and the total cost is 32 1 by 2 rupees which can be written as 65 by 2. So we want to find out the cost of 1 dozen bananas which is equal to 65 by 2 divided by 5 by 4 which becomes 65 by 2 into 4 by 5. 65 into 4 divided by 2 into 5 is equal to 260 by 10 which is equal to 26. So therefore the price of one dozen bananas is 26 rupees. Problem 4. A milkman distributed 100 liters of milk equally among some families. If each family got one one by four liter, how many families were these? Total amount of milk distributed is 100 liters. Amount of milk each family received is 1 1 by 4 which can be written as 5 by 4 liters. Let n be the number of families. So n into 5 by 4 is equal to 100. Now n is equal to 100 divided by 5 by 4. n is equal to 100 into 4 by 5 is equal to 400 by 5 which is equal to 80. So therefore the number of families that receive the milk is 80. Problem 5. 8 tins hold 42 2 by 3 liters of oil. How many liters can one such tin hold? Given that 8 tins hold 42 2 by 3 liters, that is 128 by 3 liters of oil, let x be the number of liters one tin can hold. 8 into x is equal to 128 by 3. Let us find out x x is equal to 128 by 3 divided by 8 128 by 3 into 1 by 8 128 into 1 divided by 3 into 8 let us simplify this and we get 16 by 3 therefore each tin can hold 16 by 3 liters of oil problem 6 the area of a rectangle is 37 4 by 5 square centimeter if its length is 6 3 by 4 centimeter find its breadth area is equal to length into breadth area of the rectangle is 189 by 5 square centimeter and length is given as 6 3 by 4 equals to 27 by 4 centimeter now let B be the breadth of the rectangle to 189 by 5 is equal to 27 by 4 into B. B is equal to 189 by 5 into 4 by 27. And when we simplify this, we get B is equal to 28 by 5. Therefore, the breadth of the rectangle B is equal to 28 by 5 centimeter. Problem 7. The product of two fractions is 5. If one of them is 13 4 by 7, find the other. Let x be the other fraction and the product is 5. 13 4 by 7 which can be written as 95 by 7 into x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5 into 7 by 95. x is equal to 5 into 7 by 95 
which is equal to 35 by 95 is equal to 7 by 19. Therefore, the other fraction x is 7 by 19. Problem 8. There was 1 by 4 liter milk in a glass. Rohan drank 1 by 8 liter from it. How much milk is left in the glass? So remaining milk is equal to initial amount minus amount drank by Rohan. So remaining milk is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8. And the least common multiple of 4 and 8 is 8. Is equal to 2 by 8 minus 1 by 8. That is 2 minus 1 by 8 is equal to 1 by 8. Therefore, the remaining amount of milk in the glass is 1 by 8 litres. Problem 9. If 1 kg of potatoes costs 30 rupees, find the cost of 3 3 by 4 kg of potatoes. Cost is equal to cost per kg into amount of potatoes, which is equal to 30 rupees into 15 by 4 kg, which is equal to 30 into 15 by 4 equal to 450 by 4 we end up getting 112.5 rupees therefore cost of 3 3 by 4 kg of potatoes is 112.5 rupees problem 10 the product of two numbers is 18 by 12 if one of the number is 3 by 7 find the other number let x be the other number. One number that is given is 3 by 7 and the product of two numbers is 18 by 12. So 3 by 7 into x is equal to 18 by 12. x is equal to 18 by 12 into 7 by 3. And now 18 into 7 by 12 into 3 is equal to 126 divided by 36. And when I further simplify it becomes 7 by 2. Therefore, the other number x is 7 by 2. Values and life skills Mahira uses 30 kg bag of food to feed stray dogs in her society. If each dog gets 3 by 5 kg of the food, find how many dogs she can feed. So first, let us represent the number of dogs she can feed as x. So x into 35 is equal to 30. So we can solve for x. x is equal to 30 into 5 by 3 which is equal to 3 into 10, 30. So 10 into 5 is 50. So therefore Mahira can feed 50 dogs in her society. Akshay plants 6 saplings in a row in his garden. The distance between two saplings is 1, 2 by 3 meter. Find the total distance between the first and the last sapling. Since there are 5 gaps between 6 saplings, we multiply the number of gaps by the distance between each pair of saplings. D is equal to 5 into 5 by 3, which is equal to 25 by 3. So therefore, the total distance between the first and the last sapling is 25 by 3 meters. Subject link Neptune completes one 1 by 2 turns about its axis every day. How many turns does it take in one week? Generally, we know a week consists of 7 days. Now let's calculate the total number of turns Neptune completes in one day. It completes 3 by 2 turns per day. So to calculate the total number of turns in one week, we shall multiply 3 by 2 into 7, which is equal to 3 into 7 by 2 is equal to 21 by 2. A tornado travelled 320 kilometers in two 1 by 2 hours. How many kilometers did it travel in one hour? How far will the tornado would travel in 1 by 2 hour with the same speed? As you know, speed is equal to distance by time. So speed is equal to 320 divided by 5 by 2. 
So 320 into 2 by 5 is equal to 640 by 5 is equal to 128 kilometer per hour. So therefore the tornado traveled at a speed of 128 kilometer per hour. Now how do I calculate the distance traveled in half hour with the same speed? So distance is equal to speed into time. Distance is equal to 128 km per hour into half hour which is equal to 128 divided by 2 gives us 64 km. Therefore, the tornado will travel 64 km in half hour with the same speed of 128 km per hour. I hope you understood children.